This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by Virgin America, Samsung, the Sony PlayStation Network, and Glock's new Gandhi Edition. Only shoots flowers. 9mm attachment available. <laughs> Welcome to Dignation. Also potentially hazardous to your health. All right, moving on. Why do you have <laughs> flies in your freaking house? I know this is so early. In Southern California, and I have fruit. You put <laughs> zombie and you put ear in the title, and I don't want to do it. Dignation.com. Hello! Welcome to Dignation number 125. I'm Kevin Rose. And I'm Alex Albrecht. Dignation covers some of the hottest user submitted stories on the social news website dig.com. That's D I G G dot com. We have been drinking. Correct. We are back in Los Angeles. Correct. It is hot still. Correct. Um, That's why I'm wearing a t shirt. Yes, I also have a t shirt on. And we have beers. Yeah. Uh, we are still rocking the beers from Dignation, or beer, <laughs> beer for Dignation. Beer, Dignation beer. <laughs> The DignationBeerClub.com beer. So if you want to imbibe the same beers that we're imbibing. They're nice and cold, too. They are nice and cold. Love it, dude. Head over to beer, dig, nation, DignationBeerClub.com Dignation beer and sign up for the Beer Club. It also makes a good holiday gift. That's right. And uh, this is the last week we're going to be trying these beers. We're moving on to new beers <clears throat> next episode. Is that right? Uh, yeah, so this is uh, the yeah. last time I'm going to be enjoying the Flying Dog. I think next week's actually a little bit of a special Oh, that's right, but the one after Ooh, that. Tits. Tits. All right. All right. I like the Sheriff's IPA. The Sherwood Force. It's... What's going on there? You know Sherwood's Forest. <laughs> I know Sherwood's Forest. You've got before. It's good stuff. Shall we get into it, mm -hmm. Kevin? First story of the day. Bank intern busted by Facebook. Facebook. 4,080 people. It's 4,080 people. Doug, this story is submitted by Owen people. Thomas. Hello, Owen. Hello, Owen Thomas. Uh, Kevin Colvin told his boss at the bank that where he was interning that he had a family emergency. Turns out that the emergency was a holiday party back <laughs> home. His boss found out um, <laughs> by a photo of Colvin dressing up as a fairy princess on Facebook and sent it to the whole office. Busted. The email exchange is now on the web. This is pretty funny. The, it's really, really funny because of the email exchange right. and the picture. Right. So <laughs> originally this guy writes in and he goes, Paul slash Jill, I want to let you know that I'm unable to come into work tomorrow. Something came up and I have to go home to New York uh, this morning for the next couple of days. I apologize for the delay and notice. Kind regards, Kevin. Yes, Kevin. Uh, good work. So then a couple of days go by. It's October 31st. They look on his Facebook profile. Oh, my God. And there he is. In all his lovely fairy glory. In all his fairy glory with his bush light beer. And uh, the, the guy writes in, Paul, his boss, writes back, Kevin, thanks for letting us know everything, everything is okay in New York. Cool wand. And attaches <laughs> a picture from Facebook. Dude is busted. busted. Also very popular on Facebook right now. Uh, uh, so that's that's a little embarrassing. There's a new item on my team who called in sick. This is from a person that, that forwarded this email to everyone. Oh, so this is the one. If this you scroll down to the bottom there, you can see an email from yesterday. Boss Paul says that he wouldn't be able to come into work because he had family emergency. A coworker of mine pulled the Facebook page, similar to MySpace, and found a picture of him at a party last night. So basically, he said he had to go to New York for a family emergency because he wanted to party in Worcestershire for Halloween. Below is Paul's response to him. He BCC'd the whole office. That is awesome. Wow. Busted. So a little embarrassing, uh, but you know well, what? Well, very embarrassing based on the picture. Right. You know what I'm you saying? You know what? It, it, would, it would take... <clears throat> a good chunk of change to get me to go as that for Halloween. Uh, I agree. Did you, did, what did you do for Halloween? Did you go as anything? You know, did you I, go anywhere? I, I, I really didn't do a whole lot, actually. It was kind of depressing. Um, I went and had some sushi with some friends. And then dressed I went, up? Or and went home. No, I didn't even dress up. I dressed up as Guile from mm. Street Fighter. I saw the picture. It was an awesome costume, yes. by the way. Thank you kindly. Took about five minutes, but I was very successful. No, it looked really good. Thank you. Appreciate it. But, uh, yeah. I love Halloween. 
All right, next story. Cool Akira-like bike gets 110 miles per charge. 1,809 people dug the story submitted by Byron1000. This futuristic silent bike from Japan has a top speed of 95 miles per hour. Check the video. This is one of those stories <clears throat> that I feel is moving the country forward. Hmm. And by the country, I mean the world, because Japan, right. Japan, not the US, right? right. First off, Akira is a is a really good sort of cult. Oh, I love it. Sci I've like seen it. sci fi, you know, anime, mm -hmm. Robotech meets fucking heavy metal, mm. crazy mm. but awesome. Yes. Um, Kanata is in it, mm -hmm. uh, or Kaneda. Uh, but anyway, so this bike, it's you know the funny thing is the picture looks really really awesome. And then when you watch the video, it looks more like a scooter. Mm -hmm. The sitting position is more like a scooter because I I mean I ride motorcycles so I'm like want to know if it rides like a motorcycle and it looks like it rides more like a scooter but it's entirely electric mm -hmm. will charge on your home like just plug mm -hmm. takes six hours to charge for a full charge and then goes 110 miles yeah that's awesome can reach speeds of up to 95 miles per hour 92 92 mm -hmm. miles per hour thank you correction <laughs> Thank you, Wikipedia. I was just looking at the screen. Is it 92 miles an hour? And like, right but dude, the best print. thing, $2,100. That's cheap. I, I mean, mean, even if this takes the place of like a Vespa, you're going, you're, you're charging it at home. You're just hopping on it. You're driving out. It looks freaking amazing. It does. I mean, this is perfect kind of around the city kind of car, you know? Which you, or a car, uh, a <clears throat> bike. You, you ride bikes. Ah. You, you have a Harley. I, I wish I had a Harley. I thought you said you have a Harley. No, I've ridden Harleys. I want one, I but you, they're your very Your dad has expensive. one that's like in the garage in, down in San Diego or something. Uh, that would be amazing. My dad doesn't ride motorcycles, but if he did, I'd steal his. Who You used to have a bike. You said I used, you used to have a bike. Yeah, I had a Suzuki VX 800. Oh. I had a Honda CB450. And oh, I had a... Like a crotch rocket. No, no, no. The CB450 in 82 or 85, I think mine was was a standard bike, street bike. Okay. Like a standard non crotch rocky bike. All right. I but I'm actually had... looking into getting a Ducati. I actually went out with my buddy Jerry, a.k.a. Goggins, um, and we went to a Ducati shop. Dude, it was hysterical. He's got a bike. He's got the W650, right, which is like a throwback, a 2001 throwback. Mm -hmm. I, he was going to sell it, and I was like, dude, don't sell it. I ride. We just found out. I mean, we've been friends for like a year and a half. We just found out that we both ride bikes. He's got a bike. He was going to sell it. Because he doesn't know anybody that rides. Mm -hmm. So I was like, let's go bike shopping. Because mm -hmm. he's out of work because he's an actor on a series that's now not working because of the writer's strike. What series? iCarly. Mm. Anyway, it's on Nickelodeon. Um, it's a good show. Jerry, good work. But uh, So I took him out to go shopping. We went to Ducati and saw the um, GT1000s. And I was like, so close to getting a new GT1000. He was like, what if I bought a GT1000? <laughs> like, he's got a bike. He's out of work, right. and he's thinking about buying a Ducati. Is he going to get one or no? Yeah, I think we're both going to get one. Oh, dude, that's That'd awesome. That'd be crazy. That'd be sweet. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. So, but this is a damn good bike, and uh, it turns out that it's actually not this version that's 2100. They're going to put out a mini scooter version mm. of the bike that'll sell for 2100. I'm all for electric bikes. The problem <clears> with San Francisco is it's really hard to find a plug. You, you normally what? live in like these big apartment complexes oh, and stuff like right, that. Right, right. And it's kind of hard to, to make that all work out. But, I mean, in theory, they look awesome. You know, so my question, here's my question. We pay for energy, right? We pay for electricity. Mm -hmm. So if you're charging your bike every day because you've got a lot of shit to do right. and you're going to go more than 100 miles in a day, mm -hmm. you're charging it every day, that's got to cost a fucking no, fortune. No, it doesn't, actually. It's a lot cheaper to do it. It's like equivalent of, what do they say, like... I, I looked at the plug-in Priuses that they have, you know, where they modify them so you can plug them mm -hmm. into the wall. And they say that if you only go off of electricity, electricity it's equivalent of getting, like, was 100 miles a gallon. Prager, you know this kind of stuff. What does a plug-in Prius get? Like, 100 miles a gallon, like, equivalent? Like, if you do... Well, they do the modification. No, with the, you know, they put all the battery packs. Right, they put more batteries in. Yeah. yeah. The, the, the ego aspect is, like, depending on where you're getting your electricity from. Well, what if you just plug it in the wall? Then is it yeah. like bad Wall. for the environment? Yeah. Wall. Well, it, Wall. If, if it is your electricity coming from a coal producer or... I, who who knows? knows that? My like, electricity is coming from fucking fairies. <laughs> right. You know what I mean? Like, that's how I see it. I plug it into the wall and I go, I'm helping the fairy union right. that we goes have, to the thing like, and Who does the research energy. to find out where your electricity is coming from? <clears throat> you plug in and the light turns on. Right. Do you know where, like, San Francisco electricity comes from? 
<laughs> Glenn's like, Glenn's like, eh, but, uh, mer, good question. Really. Uh, uh, Wikipedia? <laughs> Wikipedia, I got <laughs> I gotta exactly. go, I'll be right back. Oh, by the way, uh, Glenn did cocaine before we started the show. He did. I have video footage of that, actually. It's, um, we have, there's this drink that Alex has in his fridge, and like... Well, one of, a Alex, fan of ours sent it to us. You're from fridge, Canada. Yeah, you're, like two years ago. Yeah, like two years Alex, ago. Alex's fridge is kind of like a mystery, like fun place. Mm -hmm. Because you open up the door, and there's like... 75% of the shit in there is like at least three years old. Well... Two years? Yeah, yeah, two years <laughs> at least. And like old beers, like the fans sent in, and like ones that are like home brews that have like mold coming down the sides. Yep. good stuff. And uh, there's, good. A, there's this one drink in there that says cocaine on the outside. And apparently, this is an energy drink that is illegal in the United States. Dude, I just gotta say though, before... A couple of days ago, I was playing Munchkin, which is like a, this awesome card game with uh, some buddies of mine. Right. And we, we, our buddy Zan <laughs> was like, dude, I'll drink that. I don't even care. I'll drink that. And we, we gave it to him, and he literally goes like this. He opens it, and he goes, <laughs> and, and he starts coughing. Did you drink Same it? thing as Glenn. Yeah, Glenn started coughing. Glenn as started soon coughing. as Glenn, because it's, it's that it's like noxious fumes. Like when you just try to drink it, it like the smell really affects you. It's like a visceral response right. to the smell. So he started coughing and then couldn't do it anymore and then you Alex gave and I proceeded to, we proceeded to bet him. Yeah, $1.56. Dollar uh, $1.64? Do, dollar what dollar the 56. hell is that? Why? Why that weird number? 157 he doesn't know. He doesn't know. So <laughs> he just anyway, knew he wanted to drink it. He was we, like, we Give paid me a him. Buck. We paid him a dollar sixty-seven yep. or whatever it is, and he downed it. And now we're all waiting to see what's going to happen. But well, and then he goes, "What? Wait, uh, what? Nobody?" <laughs> and we were like, "Are you all right?" And he's like, "I'm not slurring." Nothing. He started slurring his words. Wow. It's weird. <laughs> so kids, don't do cocaine or the, the drink. energy drink or the drug. Unless you're in Canada where it's legal. Right. So I say, go buy a bike. Beca don't buy a bike. Anyway. What? You ride bikes. Do you ride bikes? I mean, I have my certification on my license, but I haven't ridden in a long time. Yeah. Are you serious? Yeah, I'm dead serious. What? Yeah. Let me see your license. <sighs> Give your bike shoes from that last episode, your motorbike shoes. Remember that? You nope. Got someone's fell over your... <laughs> Glenn's all I'm fucked up. Glenn is, I'm, I'm Glenn is completely it. fucked up. Dude, you don't have an M. I do. That's a C. Dude, look at this. This is what this is what a fucking. I did have the M. Look. It must have expired when I got it renewed. Oh, you do have it. C M one. What does the M one mean? Motorcycle able. That's cool. Or motor able. Dude, I'm still so telling I you. Take it. Stir Jess, motherfucker. Dude, we gotta get Harley to sponsor the show. Prayer, Holy fuck. Can you work on that? Dude, I would love. If a anybody works at Harley, I've so always wanted to buy a Harley. I rented a Dyna Wide Glide. And I rode it up to Santa Barbara and back. That's and not eco-friendly, Santa... though. Well, yeah, it is. They're eco-friendly. But, dude, <laughs> I fucking loved that motorcycle. But 19000 bucks, 17000 bucks that's just so fucking dude, expensive. Forget that. Dude, a Dignation that's Custom not... Harley that we ride the Sturgis and do a live show in Sturgis. Wait, wait, wait. Fuck yeah. Wait, wait, wait. Let's move on. Two Dignation Custom Harley. I'm not riding done. on dude, your done. back like you straddle ride, bitch, to you. You be great. <laughs> no. Dude, I'm not riding on your freaking back. Oh my back. god, you gotta see I'll No Country drive, for I'll Old Men. I'll be in the front. You gotta see No Country for Old Men. Not, no. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't calling you a bitch, I was just saying it's a good movie. Alright, next story. How to lose a race in the last second. 1,807 people like the story of something like Jonesy Telly. Bad karma, the price of being cocky. So this is basically the biggest cockiest fool you'll ever see. About to a, win a race. Last stretch, oh, miles ahead of everyone else. Watch this. Bad time. All right. Okay. He's winning. Look at that. Pumping his fist. He's excited. Yeah, give him the crowd a thumbs up. Oh, he loses. Oh, now watch this. There's a finish line. There's a finish line. Oh, no. Oh, now watch, he's gonna get out and try and push the car. Watch, watch. Oh, oh too dude. late. Oh, too dude, late. that guy blows. Uh, oh, he throws his helmet. How can you throw your helmet, you dumbass? Why is he waving his arm like a moron? Oh. Uh, <laughs> 
What a dumbass. Well, first off, it's a, I was going to say, the guy says, hey, car, but next time don't drive a clown car. But it did. It looked like, what, what kind of race is that? They're a mini car racing, kind of. Is that a thing, mini car racing? I think so. Really? So, anyway, uh, be, uh, don't be cocky. Don't be a douchebag. And if you are a douchebag, don't ride in races, mm -hmm. especially with mini cars. Because mm -hmm. you see what happens. The problem with mini cars is that when they slam into walls and they spin around, you can't get out and push them because they're kind of heavy. Yep. Well, all right, we know how that guy ended up sleeping. Next story, dude, you're going to get Adele. Dude is now a waiter. Dude, where's my next drink? 2,483 people dug the story submitted by Dasim007. Ben Curtis... Famous just a few years ago as Steven, the Dell dude, is now a waiter and bartender at Tequila Flats in New York. Although the Steven ads were hugely popular and generated tons of buzz and revenue for Dell, the company eventually dropped the campaign after Ben got arrested for buying pot in 2003. This is one of those things that's kind of a little sad, but also just sort of true of the system. Commercials are not really a big, like, as an actor, commercials mm -hmm. are sort of the way that you make your money trying to become a successful actor. Mm -hmm. Or even as a successful actor, it's like a, it's like bonus money, mm -hmm. right? It doesn't really help your career so much. It doesn't really forward your career. Right. There are a few people who, that's what they want to do. They're like, look, I just want to be in, in commercials. I'll make my money, and you can make good money, and that's what I want to do with my life. That's it. Mm -hmm. I enjoy that. Yeah. Right? Most people do commercials when they're not being able to get TV and movie work, mm -hmm. right? <clears throat> so this kid lands one of the sweetest commercial deals you can get, which is spokesperson, right? You're in, they, buy, they pay you, you know, $500,000 a year, and they say you're going to do at least 10 commercials, but you're off to the races. Yeah. It's like the, the Verizon guy. It's, it's just, like the Verizon it's basically guy. It's just like the, set. Yeah, it's like the old Sprint guy. Do you remember the old Sprint guy? It was yeah. sort of like the, the Dick Tracy, yeah. you know, um, you know, the Friday guy. Yeah, I know you're talking about you know. um, So <clears throat> the problem is, is that we all know in 2003 he gets busted for buying pot, which anybody who saw the commercials knew that that guy was smoking fucking tons of pot. Right. Right? I mean, the guy's like, dude, you're getting a fucking beauty. Dude, you know what I mean? Dude was a stoner. We all knew it. Right. But that was part of the was, kind of a, the lure. Yeah, of, it was a part of the appeal. Right. But there wasn't any real proof of that. So the people in Middle America who were like, I don't want my spokesperson smoking pot and Mary G. Gowana right. could be like, that guy's a good upstanding citizen. He's not smoking pot. At least I don't believe he is. And it's like, well, he gets arrested for pot. Ah, right. fuck that Dell they, Corporation. They, they cancel it. Because Dell's got to watch out for that. Dude, when I did the Dell commercials... I had this, we shot this commercial, and we were just doing sort of like improv stuff, and the director was like, dude, your butt out the window. I was like, dude, don't even say anymore. And so I did, the end of that commercial was all non-scripted, where I was like, dude, it's my butt out the window. Right. Dell wouldn't air that after 9 p.m. No way. They wouldn't air it after, or before, before 9, 9 p.m. PM. They wouldn't air it before 9 p.m., because I said, butt. Right? So clearly, this is a company that's very like, we want to make sure that our product is done correctly, it's advertised right, which is fine. I, I get that about people who are like, we want to make sure our company is put in the right. Is that somebody smoking a. No, I was just trying to find the, the Apple girl. Charlize Theron Big Apple Bong? No. <laughs> that's awesome. No, I'm trying to find the, the, the Apple girl. You remember the, the Apple ad when it was the girl that she was like, everyone thought she was smoking pot? No. She was like the Apple all. spokesperson girl, and she's like, hey, I lost my computer work, and uh, my Mac, my PC just ate it up, but on my Mac, there's no problem. And she like had these really heavy I eyes. I totally don't remember she's that. She's really smoking hot, though, at the same time. <clears throat> you know what I'm talking about? Nope. No, it was a big deal. But anyway, so now uh, Ben's a waiter at... Uh, <clears throat> the Kilo Flats in, New, you know, in wait, New York. Which is what happens. That's what people do. Out-of-work actors... They become waiters. He's probably happy. He looks happy. He looks he's happy. He's probably got a big fat sack of weeds in at home, <laughs> and he's just chilling and like doesn't care. Dude, you don't even know how many fucking people I know that are actors who are like, dude, I just fucking sit here and smoke a bong and work at the fucking cheesecake factory and are whatever, you serious? dude. Are I'm you gonna, serious? I want to be on a, nat a television show, and you're like, what are you doing about that? Fucking smoking weed and working at the cheesecake factory. Is that that's is gonna that a happen? Big, really, oh, dude. 
So many people come out to LA to be actors, and all they do is they get a job at the fucking Cheesecake Factory and smoke pot. Mm. And they don't do a dick all to get themselves acting work. Which is fine if that's hippies. what you want. Hippies. Fuck, just like last week. Oh, hippies are bad, baby. We all know how, how Glenn feels about hippies. That's right. Glenn, we should make bumper stickers. Glenn hates hippies. Oh, I would, I would buy one of those. It's two weeks in a row, Glenn's brought up the anti hippie. Why is he, love. like, not into hippies? I don't understand. I that. don't know. He's like, dude, remember? Hippies? Fuck hippies. But anyway, so this guy, hippie. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he's having a good time, though. Yeah, you know, he seems like he's lounging. Mm -hmm. I don't, I would never want to. Have you ever worked in, like, food service? I did. I worked at uh, Olive Garden. Mm -hmm. Yeah, made the breadsticks. Get out of town. I'm dead serious. I was 15 and a half. They hired me in Olive Garden. Uh, like breadsticks. I was in the back, and basically what they do, if you ever wonder the magic behind the breadsticks at Olive Garden, um, they start off with like these pre-cooked breadsticks that are kind of like, they're not toasted really. Yeah. Um, but then you take them, you lay them out on a tray, and you take this paintbrush, and you dip it in like the garlic and butter sauce, and then you just basically brush over the top of the breadsticks. Oh, that sounds You throw amazing. them in the oven, and then you wait about five minutes, pull out the rack, and then you basically chop them up, throw them in a bin, and then the servers come out and put them in like a little thing, and then take them out to everyone. But dude, when it's busy, you have to just sit there and like go through like at least like you have four trays of breadsticks in at once. Like you're just churning out the breadsticks. Like, well, it's, it's there because they're unlimited, right? Oh, it's unlimited breadsticks and. Uh, the soup and salad is unlimited too. Fucking all of them. Dude, that uh, that soup's pretty damn good too. Some of that stuff's pretty good. I like the salads. I haven't been to Olive Garden in probably years. We used to dine and ditch Olive Garden. <sighs> all right. Did you ever do that? Nope. You did too. You've never run out of a restaurant. And not paid? That's yes. illegal. <laughs> oh, don't even take this high and mighty. Prager, you've done that. Prager. What? You've run out of a restaurant. <laughs> run out of a restaurant. Dine and ditched. Am I the only one? You have. No, they called him something. He had a name. Dine and Ditcher? No, he was like Dine and Ditcher. Donnie Prager. Darko? No, Donnie he, Ditcher. He was something. Glenn, you've done that. Yep. Oh, you guys are lying. All right, well, let's move on to the you next story. I know you have. You, see? I, don't I know can see. About, I can sir. see. I know you're talking about. What's wrong with that? You're a kid. You don't. You, What's wrong with that? I'm not, it's I'm illegal. Like, no, that listen. That is stealing. Listen. That is stealing food from poor people's faces. No, it's not. They're rich. I'm not saying go. <laughs> Who's rich? Listen, Who's all rich? corporation. I'm not saying. Look, we need to move on to the next story. Let me take two seconds. I'm not saying to the kids out there go do this because it's something. You know what? That's that what it sounds like to me. When you're a young kid, do it. It's fun. Juggling. When you're a young kid and you're sitting there and you don't have any money and you're like, oh, if you let's dine and ditch, and everyone's like, what's dine and ditch? And you're like, let's just go in and like eat food and then just take off. And people like, you know, and they're like, no, that's illegal, Kevin. And you yeah. go, fuck it, I'm doing it anyway. No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> Some people, listen, it was a one-time experience, and it was a terrible thing, and children died. <laughs> <laughs> you killed children at Olive Garden by dining and ditching? Pretty all much. right, well, all right. All right, next you, story. You make your own bed. Squirrel playing dead, 1,638 people. I love the caliber of story we choose. Well, this one, it was just like... I, mean, I saw the movie, it, I agree. It was pretty, it was pretty, it was pretty it's amazing. Uh, 1,638 people died the story. It says, a squirrel submitted by Rock Us Nuts... <laughs> a squirrel pretending to be dead on a sidewalk. This is pretty funny. I mean, come on. Here right, you go. Dude. Volume up. <clears throat> Loading squirrel down. pretending Smack. to be dead. Your wireless is down. Come on. It's Glenn. You Who's your Wi-Fi wireless? out here? Adelphia. 7.5 Seven, uh, 7 megabits down. Really? Yep. Comcast has been blocking a lot of people lately. I've seen a lot of stories on Dig about that. Really? Yeah, they're like they're doing all kinds of shit. Oh, I'm compact now. Look at him. He's like, he's dead. He, I know, he looks like a dead squirrel, and then the guy gets his camera up he's to like, him, uh, and he's like, are you live? The squirrel's like, yeah, I'm fine, actually. He's like, hey, what's up? What are you guys doing? <laughs> hey, you go, you got a camera? Here, check this out, ready? He's like, and I'm, I'm down. Dead again. Oh, God, I had such a day. I had such a day. I mean, it's pretty funny. Nothing. Not saying it's, you're going to learn anything from it, you know but... Gonna, you know what you're going to learn? Squirrels are awesome. Squirrels are awesome. Have you ever held a squirrel? Oh, yeah. What? I mean, when you're in a park... <laughs> In, in the, uh, yeah. No, in the park in San Francisco, you know what I'm talking about? You Golden can Gate. hold squirrels? Oh, dude, they're all over the place. You, you take a little, couple little nuts and they'll just jump up in your lap and you can just give them your nuts and they'll eat that shit. <laughs> you give them your nuts and they'll eat that shit? No, they will just... That they, sounds horrible. They, they will just devour your nuts. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, I mean, they're, they're just... Uh, they're all over you. Like, they will jump up. They have no problems, like, getting on top of you. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm stopping no. now. I'm stopping no, now. No, too too far. <laughs> you went too far. One too far. So there we are. Well, score playing dead. That's amazing. Next story, oh, most creative beggar ever. I gave him a dollar for being original. 2,538 people dug the story submitted by C. Mouth. Mouth. And to think that his wife got kidnapped again one year later. So this guy's got a sign <clears throat> that says, wife has been kidnapped. I'm short 80 or 98 cents for ransom. That... It's genius. It's pretty funny. You know, have you ever seen those guys that hold up the sign that go, I'm not going to lie, I need money for bud? Yeah, weed. Or for weed? You yeah. guys say weed. I meant bud, Budweiser. Oh, really? For like Budweiser. That's not what they mean when they say bud. They mean weed. No, I know that that's what your people mean when they say weed, but L I'm saying the guy on the Third Street Promenade. L.A. people mean that, too. No, L.A. people mean Budweiser, because I talked no, to the guy. No, they like, do not. I was like, you need beer? Come on. You're telling me if a guy on the side says, I need money for Bud, he means Budweiser? No, dude. Am I right? No, he doesn't mean Budweiser. He doesn't mean Budweiser, what? dude. I guess I gotta try this marijuana stuff. There's a whole lingo that I'm missing. Dude, I'm not saying I tried it. I'm just saying, like... <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, like, I so understand the, the lingo. Is, I gotta go to the Third Street Promenade and get my dollar back and be like, dude, I meant he alcohol. Probably, you, There's you, something <laughs> wrong with you if you want marijuana. You probably walked up to me and you're like, oh, dude, go get yourself a Budweiser. He's like, yeah. He's like, yeah. All right. Thanks, kid. Go Ooh. back to Brentwood. <laughs> That's pretty funny, man. Dude, you thought it was Budweiser. I did. I was like, this is great. This is genius. I need money for beer. I was like, amazing. <laughs> You're like, I'm in. Done. I'm in, there dude. Dollar, boom. Get yourself a beer. <laughs> you Six know, pack. He, you just, he, you basically gave him money to buy illegal drugs. Yeah, I hope he's dead. <laughs> oh. Mm. How can you be that? I mean, I hope he's dead to You're the like, world, so he feels like he wants to get more beer. That's right. I don't know what that means. What's the funniest sign you've seen? Uh, you know, I saw a really tricky one in San Francisco where uh, it's like folding, and they can like go like this, and like, it's like blinds. In where it says two different things depending on how you hold it. Have you seen that shit? It's crazy. It's like Weird. it's more gummy shit. It's nuts. It's more gummy shit. Uh, it, it, this guy's from San Francisco. Look at where it was tagged. It was tagged SF. Okay. Um, I'm just saying we have some of the the most creative homeless people out there. Very artsy. <laughs> very. Did you ever see that? There was a news like maybe like a 48 hours or something that followed the people that that did that thing. And oh. There was one guy that came out and got into a fucking Porsche. Oh yeah. And yeah. left. And they followed him down, and he was like, dude, I make so much more money standing on the fucking freeway on-ramp with a sign than I ever would working. You know what? Good for him. The other thing, though, um, I saw a, a documentary on Google Video about people doing heroin that basically go out, beg, get money, and then shoot up. Wow. Oh, it was disgusting, dude. That sounds disgusting, Like, dude. basically people just, like, stabbing needles in their arms, like, finding them in their neck and, like, you putting know, needles in their necks. <clears throat> Look. If, if anybody wants to do natural drugs, you go crazy. But for me, I don't know if I could ever fucking... No. I can barely do... I don't even know if I was diabetic, I'd be able to help no myself. No way. You know what I mean? Who would ever shoot up with some shit? Well, a lot of people, I don't think that... I mean, I don't... We don't need to talk about our stances on drugs. Well, but still. I don't think that... Heroin, bad. There's a lot of bad stuff out there. And but heroin. Do it. Heroin's bad. There's a lot of really bad <laughs> drugs. Dude, yeah. And there's good ones like alcohol. Yeah. Speaking of uh, crazy shit, let's check the next story. Last story is zombie attack in 3000 BC uh, oh, Egypt. 1,945 people, and by 45 I mean 85, uh, dug the story. Submitted by Tomboy501. He says that claims the title of the earliest recorded zombie attack in history. In 1892, a British dig there unearthed a tomb containing a decomposed body whose brain had been infected with the zombie virus. Whoa. Selenium. Wait, what? That's the name of the virus. In addition... Wait, the zombie virus? Yeah, it has in, a name? In addition, thousands of scratch marks adorned every surface of the tomb as if the corpse had tried to claw its way out. Wait, this Selenium? is effed up. There's a zombie virus Dude, already? There is a zombie virus. You gotta read this. It's really crazy. Basically, they have hieroglyphics of decapitated bodies uh, what? that they were having to cut the people's heads off because they were still alive and like dying and becoming turning into undead. And they were found these bodies with like their brains missing, but yet there was claw marks inside of the like the 
it's really weird, dude. A bunch of uh, a bunch of really strange stuff. But they did this analysis of this brain chunk that they found, um, and they found the virus. Um, so there is a zombie virus. Right. What's it called? I don't know. I, Sisyphus. I, I, I Wait. Said there, you said it at the top. Syphilis. Syphilis. Stiphilis? Uh, no, it's not stiphilis. Um, <laughs> I was like, that's pretty, uh, it sounds pretty specific to me. It, it's pretty messed up, though. Uh, basically, they're saying that if there is an outbreak, uh, people could die, but yet still... Animate? But still animate, I, I don't know. Fuck me in the ass. It's Dude, I'll like, tell you, there are a couple things that scare me. I've said it before. Yeah. Russian mafia, zombies, that's it. Vampires, assholes. You get, you know, I mean, garlic? I got garlic in my fridge. Ooh, vampire garlic, man. You know what I mean? But yeah. zombies? Those fuckers do not stop. I think I would be I okay with zombies. I got a 357 Magnum under my bed, and that is the only thing that'll stop them right between the eyes. Bam. And I don't even know if that'll stop them. I'm trying to think of what, like, if something came to life, what would freak me out the most? Uh, if anything that was dead came to life, that would freak me no, I'm out. I'm just saying, like, of the evil creatures that are out oh. there, werewolves... Yeah. Zombies, vampires, vampires. Uh, necrophiliacs. What is that? Which one does that mean? That's fucking dead people. <laughs> oh, fuck. Well, you asked. <laughs> if they all came to life all of a sudden, that would scare me too. Because once I was God. dead by the zombies, I'd get fucked. <laughs> That's horrible. Oh, uh, it's disgusting. Yeah, like Frankenstein or like. Yeah, none of that really bothers me too much. Dude, zombies. I'm telling you right now. Although it'd be a good excuse to buy a sawed off shotgun. It would be. Remington A seventy, top folding stock. What? That's a brand of oh, shotgun. I thought you said room eight seventy no, Remington- top folding stock. And Re- I was like, where's room eight seventy? Is Remington. that some weird like thing in San Fran that's all zombies? No, it's good. <clears throat> oh, did I ever tell you I went to a zombie bar one time? Uh a zombie bar. A goth bar. Oh, how was it? Oh dude, so honest to God true story, real yeah. quick. My friend Ryan and I, this is about four years ago, we dressed up as goths. Like, we went, no. we put, yeah, we put all dark. I got pictures, man. I can, Dude, I, I can love seriously it. pull it up. Um, we dressed up as, as goths, and we put, like, all kinds of makeup on and shit. And, and we put, like, like, you know, the really sad, kind of, like, teary makeup. Yeah, I know goths. We just wanted to see what was going on in, like, this underground, like, San Francisco goth scene, right? Yeah. So, basically, we, we went to this club, and we got in, and it was all just... Du- like dudes in like really like tear crying makeup stuff and yeah. all these really hot gothy chicks with like chains on and shit Ooh. and like all pierced all over the place and we were like hello but uh, apparently we looked kind of stupid uh, what why what do you just because we never you know? we never really got any play with anybody and were you, uh, was at the point was you get well we were gonna try and hook up with some hot goth chicks I mean that's like yeah, that's smart kind of our plan going in mm. and this was a long time ago I have some ridiculous photos if I could even find them I would show you. Uh, I'm excited to see them if you can. That's posh. Ooh, hello. No, it's nothing bad. Really? Because you just said it like it kind of was something. No, it wasn't something. Um, so anyhow, that was a crazy time. I highly recommend <laughs> if you've never been to a goth <clears throat> party. Club bar slash party. To check it out. Okay. Well, that is it, mine friends. Let's hit over and do a couple sponsors, shall we? We would like to thank, as I scroll up, <clears throat> um, Virgin America. Virgin America is a next generation domestic airline serving San Francisco, JFK, LAX, Vegas, and DC. Uh, flights to San Diego are going on sale now. They start flying February 12th. Is that right? February 12th mm-hmm. to San Diego. My neck of the woods. Yes. I'm very excited that they go to San Diego, mm-hmm. I have to say. Uh, you can book at ver- uh, uh, virginamerica.com, but we've got to tell you about this new amazing thing that Virgin America is doing just for Dignation viewers. Yeah, you will not find this for anybody else. It's just for us. And this is a big deal. Sometimes we get you know sponsors to come in and they go, you know, like good deals. They're small deals. They give good deals. Free case of beer. Yeah, whatever. Little things. X percent off, whatever. Virgin America is giving Dignation viewers. Fly on them, bring a buddy for free. Yep. You want to go to San Diego after February 12th? Although I don't know if you can book, can you book up till like March or something? Okay. You want to go to San Diego, watch the Chargers game, maybe watch them play somebody that you like? Because <laughs> there's not very many Chargers fans left. 
I love the Jar Jars. You can book that ticket through the Dignation thingy. Your buddy goes with you for free. What? Yes. That's amazing. It doesn't have to be just to San Diego. It can be anywhere. Anywhere that they go. Right. So head over to virginamerica.com slash dignation to get this deal. Yes. Yeah, some Book flights. Some restrictions of flights. Some details. details. Uh, so enter the promo code. When you're there, you can see all the details and all the restrictions. Um, just enter the code dignation and enjoy your free flight on Virgin America. It's awesome. Dude, beyond awesome. Are you kidding me? Bring a friend for free. Come to San Francisco. <laughs> you love it. Oh, dude. Well, first off, that's ridiculous. What? That is so, like, not how a real goth person would make their eyes. <laughs> that is hysterical, dude. Look at those. Are those old screensavers? Yeah, there? these are a bunch of old pictures. Dude, look how young you look. So th these are, um, this is me and my buddy Ryan that we went on goth night. That is fucking Should I show hysterical. the picture or no? Of course. Well, I mean, this was like, I was seriously like 22. I'll just do this real quick because yeah, I don't want to, I'm going to move it around a little bit. But basically, I had a little bit of goth makeup on. Why are you moving it around? Because I don't want people to see it. It looks ridiculous. They can take a capture. No, Moron. we're not taking a capture. Anyway, uh, it was pretty funny. We did yeah, break right. into the goth scene. So thanks Next to up. thanks to uh, VA for that one. Thank you, VA. VirginAmerica.com slash Dignation. We also have Alex from Virgin America here watching to make sure we don't say anything bad. <laughs> Love you. All right. Next sponsor, Samsung. Oh, suck We it. have got one of their brand new cameras, the Samsung SC MX. 10 memory camcorder. It is very easy. They have come up with a bunch of software to upload uh, video to your website, blog. Yeah, this is weird. It's very meta. Video I'm sharing video sites. Taping Glenn, Glenn why he's videotaping Glenn videotaping us. It's pretty awesome. Um, okay. Check out product.samsung.com slash MX10 for more information. For a limited time, get a free one gigabyte SD card uh, mail and rebate. When you buy a, a oh, Samsung dude, a SC free gigabyte. MX10 video memory camera. I just bought camcorder. a fucking SD card. God damn it. Dude. I love you, Samsung. So it's got 34 by optical, 12,000 by digital zoom. Dude, look at uh, that. Electronic <laughs> image stabilization. Dude, look at keeps that. Keeps the pictures completely steady. 680K pixel CCD, uh, 2.4, 2.7 inch LCD, USB 2.0, everything, you name it. For a limited time, get that one gigabyte card. And everything Alex is shooting, you can see on that website URL. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. What has that? Everything I'm shooting right now? Yep. Oh, sick. All right. Q. Thank you kindly. Uh, we also want to thank the PlayStation Network. Uh, the PSN launched a new site. For all you gamers out there, check out psn.igm.com. What's cool about the site? Well, as long about having, <laughs> along with having exclusive downloads, games, demos, trailers in 1080p, etc., there's also a community section. In that community section, you'll be able to talk about things like what it takes to be the best gamer, future of AI and gameplay. Uh, we'll be checking in on the site and joining the conversation for a bit. So Monday, November 26th at 7 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, that's 3 p.m. or mm -hmm. 3 a.m. GMT, Kevin and I will be on psn.ign.com chatting around. I thought that 3 a.m. was going to be Eastern time, but that doesn't make any sense. Uh, you, can you can see the custom tutorial that uh, we did to setting up your PS3 on the PlayStation Network. Uh, again, that's psn.ign.com. Yes. Emails. I, emails. I, I got an email here. Do you want a picture? Or no? <clears throat> you want to do a picture, or you yeah. want me to go first? No, you go first. So this is about chorizo and teripas. Teripas. Mm. Uh, a couple of weeks ago, we talked about teresas and, and teripas. Uh, this is from Guadalupe Barbara. Hey, guys, just wanted to clear up your question from episode 122 about what teripas and chorizo are. Teripas, or tripe in English, are intestines or stomach lining from cows, pigs, sheep, and uh. or goats. They taste great when grilled with a bit of beer poured over them. All right. Chorizo <laughs> is pork sausage, usually served mixed with eggs or alone as a great breakfast item. Mm. As far as being brains, when scrambled with eggs, it can look like scrambled brain matter, but trust me, it's not brains. My favorite breakfasts include a couple of chorizo and egg tacos, using homemade tortillas, of course, served with refried beans and some orange juice. God, that sounds fucking amazing. It does sound good. Doesn't it sound mm -hmm. amazing right now? Of course, it helps to have a chef for a wife. Congratulations. 
Keep up the great work. Uh, you crack me up, crack me up all the time. Keep up the P casting. Uh, San Ant uh, coming to you live from San Antonio, Texas. Loop B. Thanks, bro. All right. Uh, next thing we have is a video from Natasha. Hey oh. guys, I've been a fan for quite some time, and I've always been thinking about sending you a video. Uh -huh. Oh god, <laughs> the first frame just came up. <laughs> We've not seen this before. <laughs> well, here's a little video that I made for you guys. Uh, Please throw that video. Enjoy, Natasha. P.S. I made some free stuff. Video turned up. Oh! oh! <laughs> <laughs> Do that again. Do that again. <laughs> it was a really fast forward video for taking our top off. Whoa, oh! Oh! All epic, right. epic. Wow. Thank you for that. Epic. Love Ooh. it. We had Jesus. no idea what we were even looking at. We pulled it up and it's like some girl like fast forward like, shirt off, shirt on. And she's putting her dig shirt on. Amazing. So. Amazing. Uh, very uh. fun. <clears throat> yes. See? Love yes. it. Love it. Well, if you'd like to send us an email with things like that, please feel free to. You can send us an email at dignationfans at gmail.com that's dignationfans at gmail.com right and you have a new facebook page we have created I do. one for alex i do i have one as well so we have a way for you to friend how us you, up how, at what's facebook. the like quick the quick easy way <sighs> no quick easy way yet it's, prayer, it's coming it's coming prayer, it's coming can we put like a page like dignation.com slash friend us or something like that and put a list of all of our social networks so you can kind of friend us up is that too hard? That's not going to happen. That may not happen. Damn it. Head over to Facebook.com slash... No, is that it, how it, it does doesn't it? do it that way. It's some really weird URL. Here's the deal. Send but us, can they get to us it, to see us? Yeah. If you want to send... It, yeah, this is the easiest way to do it. If you want to get our links to where to friend us up on MySpace and Facebook, send an email. It can even be a bogus email, but it, it send something nice. Um, to <laughs> dignationfans at gmail.com. We have an auto respond that sends you back all of the links. We won't spam you. This is just like a Gmail auto respond. Yeah. Sends you all the links to the social networks that we're a part of. Correct. Um, and then friend us up on Facebook, friend us up on MySpace, um, and say hello. And we'd love to hear from you. Cool. Well, that's it for this week's edition of Dignation. I'm Alex Albrecht. And I'm Kevin Rose. Until next time. Stay away from zombies. Yeah, fuckers. This week's episode of Dignation is brought to you by You Have a New Text Message. <laughs> Ready? You start. Three. Okay, hang on. Jesus. Let's, we're not in a hurry. You're in cocaine. You're on cocaine. That's so why you're in a you hurry. Feel like you're in a, you feel like we're in a hurry because I'm, of your I'm, cocaine. I'm saying we're not in a hurry because people know when you're trying to rush through this shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he fucking slurred his face. I wasn't slurring anything. I didn't <laughs> slur anything. I didn't slur anything. Glitz <laughs> 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 of cocaine. <laughs> oh my god, that sounds amazing! That's the best dollar fifty six I ever spent!